What would you do if you found yourself in the year 10,000 AD? In this episode, Fry oversleeps and is late for work and Leela's birthday lunch. To make up for it, he plans to take Leela out to a fancy restaurant that night. However, the professor asks Fry to help him test a time machine, which malfunctions and sends Fry a bender, and the professor to the year 10,000 AD. They realize they can't go back in time, so they decide to travel forward in hopes of finding someone who has invented a backward traveling time machine. Meanwhile, Leela thinks Fry stood her up again and is devastated when she hears he died at Hedonism Bot's bachelor party. In the future, Planet Express becomes a huge corporation and Leela and Qbert eventually marry and divorce. One day, Leela receives Fry's old birthday card where he apologizes for being a billion years late and confesses his love for her. Saddened Leela leaves a message for Fry in the past using stalagmites. Fry a bender, and the professor eventually witness the end of the universe and the birth of a new one realizing that time is cyclical. They manage to travel back to their own time but end up in a slightly different universe. Fry makes it to his date with Leela and they share a romantic moment. Meanwhile underneath the bridge where they stand, Bender buries the bodies of their alternate universe counterparts. 